Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna work on the F100. I got a dash back here. Let me show you what I got and what we're gonna do today. So I picked up this dash. This dash doesn't have any cracks or anything in it, but it's been setting out some, so it's kind of dirty. So I've got to wash it and I'm wanting to do black interior in the F100. The first thing we need to do is get this cleaned up. Let's go over here and look at the F100. And you can see in the dash, in this one, I've already got the pad off the top, but there's a crack right here in this dash. And I found that one used, of course. So I'm going to take all this out and paint the, the tan dash black and put it in. And then I also have a brand new dash pad that took forever to get. Uh, it was on back order and out of stock for a, a long time, but I've got a new dash pad to go on top too. And uh, start trying to get some of this stuff converted over to black. So let's get to the tan dash, get it cleaned up, get it painted, and we can swap these out. So what I got here is just some water and some Dawn dish detergent. Uh, this will help clean it up and degrease it. And then I got me a red uh, scuff pad and I'm going to try to scuff it and clean it all in one. So let's see how it all turns out. use some wax and grease remover. I'm gonna wipe it all down. This is a color coat by Sam's Trim. Uh, this is a flexible coating and it's good for dashes and interior. This is a satin black. That's what we're gonna be spraying this dash. The dash looks fairly dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray a very light coat. This is gonna be like a mist coat to help stuff adhere. I ended up having to move the dash up onto the carport. It was super windy out there. This is kind of a bad day to do this. But at this time of the year, it's really hard to find time to do stuff when it's cold and windy and stuff like that. But we're gonna continue on. So far, it's looking fairly good. So I'm gonna paint it here on the carport. what it's looking like so far. It's looking pretty good. I tried to get different angles just in case you put the dash together and you can kind of see maybe a in between a crack or something. I don't want to show brown. So I kind of painted around on the back side. But it's looking really good. Probably gonna put one more coat on it at least. I'm gonna let this one kind of dry but you can still see a lot of texture in it. And the other dash was cracked right in here, so this one's not. So it's turning out pretty good. This is my third coat. This one's still just a little bit wet. So it's gonna look a little splotchy until it all dries out flat. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight before I touch it or do anything with it. And then hopefully tomorrow evening when I get off work, we can start taking it out, taking the old dash out of the truck and putting this one in. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I uh, painted the other dash. 
it's time to get this cracked one out. I may end up having to pull this dash at a later date when I go to paint inside the cab, but it's gonna be a little while because I got a lot of other stuff I gotta take care of on the truck first, but I'm tired of this and not having a dash pad on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the black dash in it. So let's go ahead and start working on getting this one out. Okay guys, I've got the dash out and I'm gonna ask if anybody else knows a better way of doing this, but the way, the easiest way that I found out how to do this, cause I've never really pulled uh, one of these dashes, is you have this metal brace that goes all the way across and it bolts here and then it bolts here to the side like so. And then you have screws that go in and then you have screws that go on the, the side of the dash over here that you can't get to behind this uh, weather stripping. And you have a bunch of screws that go into the back. You have screws that go into the back and hold this wiring harness to the plastic in the dash. You have a screws that come in from the back over here at the column. So the easiest way that I found out how to do this is take all the screws off the plastic uh, dash on the front. And then once you do that, reach through the glove box on this side and take that bolt out. And then re after you take your dash pad off the top, reach to the top and take that bolt out. And this whole assembly will slide out and you can get your screwdriver in here to take these bolts out and you can reach around the back and take all the screws out uh, all the way down through there. And it's the same scenario on that side, except the bolts down here on the kick panel, well, just up under the dash or at the kick panel. And then it's there's one over there on the top, just like this side that you need to take off. Then you can take the screws off here at the speaker, and then you can kind of just slide this metal piece out and get to all those screws. So. Now I'm gonna to have to try to take that plastic dash and feed it in here and try to put all the screws in the back side and on this end and then set this whole assembly up here and put that bolt in, put that bolt in and do the same thing over there. And then you have these metal braces that come up under the heater core and you have one here and uh, you have one over here somewhere right here. This is the brace and it goes up under there and you have, uh, you have a bolt that goes in both of those and then you screw into your speaker and then it kind of makes that metal rigid down there and then you can just put all the screws on the outside of the plastic all the way around for the dash. So let's get the black dash in here and see if we can't pick this metal up and kind of feed it into the back of the plastic. Start putting those all those screws that go in from the back end and make sure you get these two on this far end that's supposed to be behind this pinch weld or this lip here that holds the weather stripping and then put it all together.
gas, the dash is in. It looks fairly good. Uh, this, I want to have to take this out and paint that, and I'm going to paint the one around the gauges, the, the bezel. Uh, I'm going to paint the glove box before I put it in, and I'm going to paint the ashtray, which I went ahead and put it in, but I'm going to take it back out and paint it. But overall, it turned out pretty good. I've got to fix this screw right here. For some reason, it's not taken on this dash. I may have to figure out something on that one. But the rest of them went in pretty good. But that looks so much better. When I had this apart, those vents were full of leaves. And I had to take, I took that box out, uh, well, the vent tube out, and I cleaned all it out as well. I can't wait to get that uh, rust fixed over there. Then maybe put some sound dampening in here once I paint it put some carpet down, get some black door panels, get my seat redone in black. Well, we got the dash in the F100, and I wouldn't consider it a major accomplishment, but that was a lot of work to, to take this dash out. That was probably one of the harder dashes I've ever had to remove with all the screws, and some of them were so hard to get to, which they may be an easier way. I just didn't know it. Uh, it was kind of like a trial and error for me. I just got in there and started taking stuff apart and tried to keep up with what I was taking apart. I still think removing that frame was probably the easiest. Like I said, somebody else can comment and if they've got any suggestions on removing uh, one of these F100 dashes. But anyway, we got it painted, got it in. So that's the first piece of black that's going into the truck. But with that being said, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned as we continue working on this and working on the car. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one.